The ferry system in the past week has been installing portable Santa cans aboard its boats operating on the San Juan Island, Mukilteo, Woodby Island, and the Hood Canal routes. Since July the 13th, the marine engineers who operate the boats have refused to pump the raw sewage overboard, as has been the practice for a number of years. The engineers, who are in the middle of contract talks with the ferry system, base their refusal on the fact that as of February 1st, it has been illegal to dump raw sewage overboard. Transportation Department officials view the refusal as just another pressure move in the contract talks. To keep the galleys open aboard the boats, since the dispute started, the state has been using septic tank pump trucks to reduce the levels in the holding tanks. The men's and women's restrooms, however, still remain closed, except for the sinks. The state has applied for a waiver to the dumping regulations from the Coast Guard. Ferry system personnel say no final decision has been made, but they have been told to go ahead and dump a Coast Guard spokesman told me that some action on the waiver request should be taken before the end of the week. Transportation Department officials say there are few options to dumping. Pumping into septic tank trucks costs $110 per thousand gallons, and they just don't have a large enough capacity. Some boats do pump into the Seattle and Edmond sewer systems. The city of Mukilteo does have its own sewage treatment plant, but because these are saltwater flush toilets, the system cannot accommodate that salt water. But the mayor of Mukilteo told me that the city would be willing to work with the ferry system to reach some accommodation. The same problem with salt water exists in other communities with small sewage plants. While small boaters on Puget Sound have had to install expensive holding facilities or chemical treatment plants, the state apparently wants to continue to dump overboard. In fact, one state ferry, the Vashon, isn't involved in the dispute at all, since it has no holding tanks, and the sewage goes directly into Puget Sound. Joe Zaspel, Channel 7 Eyewitness News, Muckleteo.